In this video, we're going to cover seven uh, cloud security architecture trends for 2025 and beyond. Hi, my name is Mike Gibbs. I'm an enterprise architect with approximately 25 years experience in various architecture roles. And I've also spent a little over two decades helping people get their first tech job, get promoted in tech and enhance their technology careers. And in today, we're going to talk about seven key trends that I think are going to be key in 2025 and beyond for cloud security architectures and security architectures in general. The first thing that I see is so much more. AI-driven threat detection, and even responses to various threats. So at this point, we're gonna be using AI for a real-time analysis of lots of data sets. We've got AI in our next generation firewalls that's looking for behavioral anomalies. We've got AI in our SIEM systems that's looking for anomalies and correlating logs, for example. We are starting to use AI and various identity and access management systems to be able to make risk-based decisions. So what you're seeing is kind of AI everywhere in cloud security architectures. Now, there's gonna be new threats that can be assisted coming at us via AI, and therefore we need uh, more AI security tools to help block things, to be able to respond by blocking specific traffic or quarantining some malware, or being able to look at something as soon as an attack's occurring and stopping it. So AI-driven threat detection response, I see a lot more of that in 2025 and beyond. Now, I also see a lot of cloud security posture management, and I also see AI here, but uh, we're going to need a continuous, constant monitoring of and visibility into our cloud configurations and all of our clouds. So we need to find out when someone put the wrong permission in dynamically, when someone uh, set up the wrong authentication protocol or anything that would cause a compliance issue. So as we get more and more distributed on the clouds, uh, more edge computing, more multi-cloud, more hybrid multi-cloud, more of everything, we need to think more clearly and carefully on what we're doing. And that's why we've got a lot of cloud security posture management that I see moving forward. It'll enable organizations to really visualize their risks and compare where they're at against where they really want to be. Another thing that I see getting bigger and bigger by the day are zero trust architectures. And the key is we lack the great perimeters in the cloud that we had in the data center. And because we no longer have these really strong perimeters, we need something better. So that's where zero trust comes in. We need to get into this concept of never trust, always verify, micro segment our systems the best we can, use encryption wherever we can, and require constant reauthentication to make sure everything is who they claim to be and that we're giving the right proper rights and access. So a lot more zero trust as we move to the cloud and we lose a lot of the inherent data center security functionalities, we have no choice. So I see much more zero trust architectures coming wrong, coming along. Now, since I mentioned zero trust, I see a lot more of identity and access management enhancements. It used to be identity and access management was the weakest form of authentication and the last line of authentication because if we could keep them from getting into our systems in the first place, then IAM was a lot easier. IAM was the last line of defense because we couldn't get there in the first place. Now, in many cases, these hard boundaries are coming down. So now IAM may be only the thing that we have. So now we need a lot of identity and access management enhancements. It's a key component of zero trust and we need to be looking at things that are going to be better. So is my user logging in from the right device at the right time of day? And if not, AI can sense a threat and either send a multi-factor authentication challenge or just deny access. So we can verify that various security components are in place before someone comes on. So a lot more IAM, but also a lot of more effective authentication processes. Usernames and passwords, they're too easily guessed. And as computing power gets better, brute force attacks get easier and easier by the day. So biometric authentications uh, may become more popular. Context aware, definitely, definitely, definitely. IAM solutions and IAM options, uh, much more of it. So lots of enhancements to IAM I see coming soon. Now, 
because of all of that, because of passwords, because of AI, because of computing power, uh, we really need to get rid of password, pa password authentication. And I see a lot more passwordless authentication in 2025 and beyond where we're using biometrics or hardware tokens. And that's going to help really mitigate a lot of the risks of phishing and key logging and brute force attacks. And especially with GPUs getting more powerful, you know, we and GPUs can easily be used to crack passwords. And some of these GPUs right now are so powerful, we need to be getting past passwords. And besides, It'll make it easier to uh, use better uh, to use other things that can make it better on the user or easier on the user, like single sign-on. We're really sure we've got the right sign-in from the right person with the right uh, privileges. So, because GPU power is getting better and better, because quantum computing is starting to become a, a reality, we need better encryption technologies coming soon. So I see a big focus on uh, quantum computer resistant cryptography and other forms of cryptography that will be adapted and used as stronger defenses. And uh, the last trend, and you know, there's other things that I see going on, but I see a lot more DevSecOps integration. So as we use more cloud architectures, as, and that could be in a private cloud, public cloud, hybrid multi-cloud, it doesn't really matter. But we're going to be looking for configuration management. We're going to be looking for code security. We're look, going to be looking for code checks along the way and other ways that we can automate. So getting uh, the development process uh, integrated into DevOps and the operations and then adding security to the software development piece too, uh, that's going to do a lot. So I see a lot more focus on DevSecOps. It's not going to replace the traditional security people like security architects and cloud security architects, but I do see more work being done by DevSecOps teams uh, along the development cycle, more security by design in everything. So these are the seven biggest trends that I see. AI threat detection and mitigation almost everywhere, cloud security posture management, zero trust architectures, substantial enhancements in identity and access management, passwordless authentication, enhanced uh, encryption technologies, and DevSecOps integration into many of the things that we do. If you're looking to become a cloud architect, a security architect, a cloud security architect, an enterprise architect, an AI architect, we run a weekly webinar where we'll go over these architectural roles. We'll talk about the skills you need in these roles and we'll answer any questions you have about a cloud architect career or a security architect career or enterprise architect career on these free webinars. They'll be on Zoom. You can ask any kind of question and we'll do anything we can to try to assist you on these free webinars. So uh, join us in a free webinar. The link is in the description of this video. And while you're in the description of this video, guess what? We've got other stuff to help you in your career. Uh, Ebooks and how to become a cloud architect, or ebooks and how to become an enterprise architect, for example. Ebooks and how to win the interview for your cloud architect, enterprise architect, security architect role. So check them out. Uh, sign up for some free resources, and I hope it helps you in your career. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like, uh, subscribe to our channel, and maybe leave a comment. Tell me how you felt about the video, or what you're learning, or what you're interested in. I would love to hear from you. This is Mike Gibbs signing out for now, and I look forward to seeing you in your next cloud architect, uh, security architect, uh, webinar, or video. Take care, everyone.